I think that the stimulus money, a lot of that will find its way into the stock market. I've actually been interviewed by several publications asking how would I recommend somebody to invest their $1,400 stimulus check. And um, I guess my first question is, gee, if you can't really use it to buy groceries or pay for your rent, why do you get it? Uh, but beside that, uh, I, I do find that many people are wondering uh, just how much of that will flow into the stock market. And I think that will probably contribute to offering support or additional upside movement for stocks in general. Well, two weeks ago, investors were worried that interest rates were spiking, that tech was going to go through uh, a pullback, then a correction, and then into a new bear market. But then last week, we ended up seeing a recovery period, primarily because inflationary data came in a little more benign than anticipated. Uh, and initially, the yield on the 10-year note declined, but then ended the week higher. But investors didn't really seem to care. So I think that the overall trajectory of the stock market is still higher. But we did go six trading days with the Dow in positive territory. And so I think at least today, maybe even tomorrow as well, we're probably going to see investors, um, in a sense, take advantage of these gains, maybe digest some of them, and then look for a new catalyst to help propel share prices higher. Well, I think they're expecting the Fed to continue to say that they're not going to be raising short-term rates until the end of 2022. Uh, that will allow for investors to focus on investing toward a steepening yield curve. Uh, but I also think that they're going to be listening to whatever subtleties Fed Chair Powell might be mentioning as to what the Fed is looking at, whether the Fed will try to influence long-term rates as well. Uh, and then just in general, trying to get some sort of direction uh, from the Fed as to uh, where interest rates right, might be headed. Well, what Fed uh, Chair Powell did last time was pretty much as expected, indicating that they are going to keep interest rates low. What he did say that investors were afraid that he would say uh, was that, yes, the Fed does monitor bond market activity, does, does monitor uh, inflationary expectations, et cetera, and that would possibly have an influence on how the Fed makes monetary policy going forward. Uh, that was not an indication, however, that the Fed is planning on doing anything anytime soon. But I think investors were looking for any kind of an excuse to push share prices lower and uh, they pointed to the Fed's willingness to at least monitor inflation and interest rate trends. Uh, I think this time around, um, maybe we could find uh, that Fed Chair Powell says something that uh, investors again focus on and become concerned by. Uh, but I don't think there's any action that the Fed will be taking that would be regarded by the market as a negative. Well, I, I think that uh, because the uh, NASDAQ did go through a near 11 percent correction, um, because we have started to see equity prices in general move higher, uh, I would tend to say that the path of least resistance is higher for the equity markets and that the Dow, the S&P, the uh, mid cap 400, the Russell 2000 will likely hit additional new highs and that the Nasdaq will be whittling away at its uh, negative uh, prints. So I, I would tend to say that uh, we will then be looking for the first quarter earnings reports to be coming out uh, in the second week of April, and then Wall Street will have something new to be focusing on. And I th think they'll be listening quite closely to management indicating uh, what the trend will likely be for the second half of this year as the economy opens up. Mm -hmm.